So I apologize. These videos are blending together quite a bit, but uh, I wanted to talk specifically about Marianne Williamson now, even though I talked a little bit in the last two videos. And she is the Course in Miracles author who has become a meme sensation, who uh, seems to be a combination of Gnosticism and Jung and Carl Rogers and LSD and just cram them all into one person. And uh, again, I've had experience with the Course in Miracles. I've done it. I did it during my Jesus year, my 33rd year out here in uh, Vietnam. I took a Course in Miracles and got through it. And I, it didn't really change me that much. I don't know. It's good to say that I've done it. But uh, I don't think it's really a philosophy or thought system that we can use to run our country. It parades it's Christian, but it's not exactly Christian. It doesn't talk about suffering. It insists that the journey to the cross was the last useless journey and that we do not gain anything through suffering, which is so weird because you think, well, you have to suffer. You have to suffer in order to grow. There's nothing wrong with feeling pain. There's nothing wrong with hurting. And if you just feel good all the time, you quickly become useless. Um, this made me think of... Uh, this rabbit hole I went down, this 90s rabbit hole where I was really interested in the Heaven's Gate cult. I'm not sure what started. I think one night I was looking at the night sky and I thought about the Hale Bob comet and I researched the cult, which was a UFO cult. Uh, 97, I think it was, like about 30 of them all took poison, drank Kool Aid, and died, and they left goodbye videos and everything. And I watched, it was uh, Stephanie Harlow, this new channel that I found. She has a great documentary about Heaven's Gate. And it all, it all made me think that the problem with this beyond human thing, what they were trying to accomplish, was just not feeling love, not feeling ego at all, not feeling any attachment, and just being this kind of nebulous space creature, not having gender or anything, not having those feelings, to the point where some of the men in the group actually castrated themselves really bizarre stuff. Why, why would you want to be happy like that? And even when one of their leaders died, which made no sense according to their doctrine, it was Marshall Applewhite, Applewhite was just making it up anyway. They, they insisted on let's tune out all emotions. Let's just find this uh, weird cosmic next level nirvana. It's, it's like they say beyond good and evil. Well, what is beyond that? You know, you can't just, uh, what, what is the word for that? Is that a syllogism or something? Where uh, it's just an unfounded presence. It's just a question that you just ask that doesn't really mean anything. What's the meaning of love, right? Love conquers fear, but that love can't be personal. It's this, uh, nesm it's this cosmic thing. It's the love of Jesus where we learn to just find that unspeakable peace and we're happy all the time. That's what A Course in Miracles teaches. It wants you to find peace and happiness every day, which I think is um, a little bizarre, a little culty, you know. Uh, in the Bible it says Jesus wept. Uh, in A Course in Miracles it keeps going on to talk about how Jesus didn't really suffer and none of us need to suffer either. We can enter that next level. It's that same flavor of New Age crap. Uh, and it also it makes me think of a Nostalgia Critic video that was released a while ago talking about Barney the Dinosaur, another 90s thing. And he was trying to point out why Barney is so hated. You know, you think of Mr. Rogers and Lamb Chop and Sesame Street and those stuff. You certainly grew out of those things, right? But um, it's not like you're embarrassed or you hate it. You, you you know, like, at least it has emotion, at least you see value uh, for kids, and um, Nostalgia Critic correctly pointed out that the problem with Barney is that he's happy all the time. He never shows sadness, and even small children can understand sadness. Even um, uh, Sesame Street and Mr. Rogers covered death or separation, like, really hard problems. Like, children can feel those things. But anyway, to tie it all together, if we want to be Barney the Dinosaur, if we want to get on the Hale-Bopp Comet, if we want to 
uh, just feel happy and good all the time and feel love all the time, what could go wrong? It's a little thing called contingency. It's a little thing called not really knowing what's around the corner and uh, allowing ourselves to feel the full range of emotion, allowing ourselves to feel the full range of emotions. Uh, otherwise, we're not really human. Over and out.